Welcome everyone to Clarky's Closet, a podcast. And today we look at my fifth musical comedy, Wayne Kerr High. A soap opera. Played on four stages around the audience. We put this on in uh, Windsor High, 1999. This one was 1999 at uh, Windsor High School out here in the Hawkesbury in New South Wales, Australia. And the idea is that Miss Winterbottom, our horrible principal, and Mr. Spot Rinse, her offsider, are planning to take over Wayne Kerr High. There are lots of little stories uh, woven amongst this. There's Benny, who's so in love with his wife that he decides he is going to stop eating, and he gradually gets smaller and thinner as the show goes on, ends up as a skeleton. There's Oscar, who everyone thinks is gay, but he isn't. And his mate, who is learning uh, how to work in soap operas and act like that, like, what's the matter, mate? And there's, uh, who else is there? Oh, Mr. Skidmark. He's an American, not a proper person, as Miss Winterbottom reminds him. And various other characters. There's Mr. Spice Guy, who's a good-looking young guy. And there's Miss Ribald, who, of course, is the young, attractive, sexy teacher. And Mr. Timorous, who's scared of his wife, but he is, has the hots for her. So it's all it's all happening. You get the idea. It's uh, lots and lots of different stories all woven together. And at the start, we had all of the staff, which is, of course, the cast, on stage. We gave everybody in the audience the words to the school song, and they all sang it aloud. So they had to stand up and do the whole thing. So they sort of became the assembly for the for the group. That's the opening song. And then after that, the second song is sung by Miss Winterbottom and saying how much she hates the students and how schools do run much more efficiently when none of them are around. Schools run more efficiently with pupils Efficiently with pupils when the pupils are away Schools run more efficiently with pupils Efficiently with pupils on a pupil-free day More efficiently when pupils are away All day long, sitting in the sun Sipping on my coffee as the day rolls on Bells turned off and no roughly I love those students when they're far away It's so much easier to rule When the brats are not at school Schools run more Efficiently with pupils Efficiently with pupils When the pupils are away Schools run more Efficiently with pupils Makes the heart grow fond Let those absentees abscond Long suspensions, vacant places No silly adolescent faces To clutter up my day In summary I say Schools run more Efficiently with pupils Efficiently with pupils When the pupils are away Efficiently with pupils, efficiently with pupils on a pupil-free day. More efficiently with pupils when they're far away. More efficiently when pupils are away. Yes, I think most teachers can relate to that one. And I've been a teacher for 42 years, so I know all about that one. So, where are we now? We have got the next song, which is Benny's song. This is the song I was saying to you before. Benny decides he is so in love with his wife that he will no longer eat because he's very, very, very overweight at the start of our play and he diminishes somewhat in the course of the play. So this is a little tap dance song that he does in basically telling everybody how much he loves his wife.
Take this food away for another day I won't eat it Give it, if you can, to some other man who may need it Your love fills me to bursting My life is now complete When you smile in your saucy way Dessert has never been so sweet Believe me Girl, loving you is easy You really are the fat in my fries The apple of my eye The kidney in my steak and kidney pie Believe me Girl, loving you is easy You really are the bacon on my rind The lard in my behind The undigested matter in my lower intestine I don't need to eat For I am replete now You're near me Come what horses may Send them all away I'm not hungry Be it chocolate or pizza All food I now abhor My appetite has been sated by your love Henceforth I'll eat no more Believe me, girl, loving you is easy You really are the ice in my cream The baked in my bean The butt in my butter and the margin marine Believe me, girl, loving you is easy You really are the meat in my stew, the fiber in my poo, the carrots in my nostrils when I've had a spew. So take this food away for another day. I won't eat it. Give it, if you can, to some other man who may need it. So while this is going on and Benny is uh, gradually getting thinner, we've got all sorts of other stories happening. There's a love story. There's people being pulled out of the audience to be ritually humiliated in front of the group. We got the deputy principal up to be tickled by Miss Ribald at one point, and he was embarrassed, I, I, I'd like to think. <laughs> and we we played it on four stages, as I said. So the lights would drop down on three and, on, and, and come up on one. So the stages one, two, three, and four. And so the audience was constantly either looking behind them, but mainly to the right and the left and forward. And then, of course, what's really going on behind the scenes is that Miss Winterbottom, the horrible person that she is, and Mr. Spot Rince, the officious sort of deputy that he is at Wayne Kerr High, are planning on enslaving all of the students. They're building an electric fence around the school with the help of some outsiders whom we have not met yet. And in this next song, they are extolling the virtues, the perquisites of power, the perks of being in the high position of principal and offsider at Wayne Kerr High. This song plays quite a bit on the various platforms, you know, Spotify, etc. And it's called All For You And I. <laughs> Together you 
and I I'll be the master And I shall follow you Together we shall rule We shall terrorize the school sublime isn't it the power of being a teacher being able to push into the line no one can say anything to you it's great we call them public schools where i've been working all my working life public schools in australia in england they call what we call private schools they call public schools you know we go to school and um, learn to speak like that my dad didn't go to the right sort of school frank's a terribly nice fellow shan't go any further in the firm and so he brought his family to Australia. And here we are in Hawkesbury, in New South Wales, Australia. This next song was a homage to my dear old mum, who unfortunately passed away just after we finished last year's show, Songs from the Bunker, the show that I was talking about last week. Poor old mum bit the dust too young at 66, alas. But I thought I'd include a song for her in the next play, which is the opening song for Act Two. It's a serious song, and it's called Somehow. To carry on without you and accept that you are dead I keep expecting you to call Somehow I must talk to you Nestle in your neck and tell you that I love you Sleep at night in great anticipation I'll be waiting for your message to arrive When I go to sleep at night I'll be lying in my dream time Waiting for you dancing on the light Mama, can you comfort me in this? I've been crying on my pillow Waiting for my good night kiss Mama, all those years Just raised on my mind Somehow I must touch a dream Find the magic carpet playing in between the sheets that can take me to your distant world Somehow I must ride a beam Sail upon the sunlight Over another dream And hug you like I'd never have Anticipation, I'll be waiting for your message to arrive 
for Rini Clark, who died in 1998. That was in, in September when we put the play on. But uh, the, that was the only serious song in the entire thing. But there were too many threads really to go into. But in Act 2, all sorts of weird things happen. Wayne Kerr turns up with a rock and roll robot, played by my friend Brian Cutt. <laughs> he and I had to get in on the act. Well, we thought we may as well. Nobody else wanted to do it. Wayne Kerr basically does a very bad stand-up and says lots of sort of ghastly black comic type things. And it was accompanied by canned laughter, which I thought worked really quite well. It's one way you can make sure you get a laugh is if you've got canned laughter blasting over the audience every time you say, make a silly joke. And then not only that, but Miss Winterbottom and Mr. Spotrince uh, dressing up as superheroes secretly in the, in the principal's office as part of their attempt to take over Wayne Kerr High. But uh, Mr. Spotrince is given some LSD and he's running around being chased by gorillas and God knows what. There's lots and lots of silliness. And in the end, all of these threads of these stories, uh, well, as I said before, I think Benny, who's uh, lost all of this weight, ends up as a skeleton. And then uh, there's, uh, it's not even worth what I'm talking about, really. But if you're interested, read a bit of the script on markclark.com.au. And so the final song is just a song of hope and, you know, a nice big ending song. And this one's called Everything is A OK. Everybody sitting in this room tonight, get up upon your feet. Make sure that the person sitting next to you is grooving along with the beat. Your mothers, your fathers, your sisters, your brothers, your uncles, your aunties, your friends, and your lovers. You gotta sing along with the what to my song, me, honey, while you're me. Cause everything is A-OK. Everything is A-OK. Everything is A-OK. Seize the day Living in kindness is the only way Everything is A, everything is A, everything is A Everything is A-OK okay. Everything is A-OK okay. This song ain't breaking new ground, man. Nothing you were trying to say. Just gather the 
mother, say your lies when you can, and show them that you love them today. Your mothers, your fathers, your sisters, your brothers, your uncles, your aunties, your friends, and your lovers. You gotta sing along with the words of my song. Make honey while you may, cause everything is A-OK. A-OK. Everything is A-OK. And so, everybody, it all ends up happily ever after, of course, and all of the stories, to some extent, resolve. And uh, a good time is had by all. So a rather silly soap opera on four stages around an audience. It did play again a couple of times, actually, but I took the precaution of also having realised that Wayne Kerr is, you know, probably a bit too much for lots of people, especially at school, you know. So I did another version, and Jessica Zampronia, who's singing for me on all of these musical comedies, she uh, and I also did another version where we put in Loser, instead of Wayne Kerr, so Loser High became actually played a couple of times. I think it took the edge off it personally, but then again, I'm quite a rude person and I quite enjoy bad jokes. Well, I'm a dad, and all dads enjoy bad jokes. I always say to the kids at school, doesn't matter how funny you are now, guys. Doesn't matter whether you've got a great sense of humour and everyone thinks you're great. As soon as you become a dad, you start saying stupid stuff. And make silly puns. They used to be called puns, didn't they? Now they're called dad jokes. It's rather a shame. Puns were once considered the height of wit in Shakespeare's day. Now they're just dad jokes. They've lost all their cachet. Anyway, I'll stop crapping on now, and I will leave you with our end song, which is just uh, the same as the intro song. So if you've heard the intro song, you've heard the end song, and here it comes. And next week, we're going to... We're going to space next week. Once upon a space time... Play number six from the year 2000 is coming at you next week. Anyway, folks, I hope you've enjoyed yourselves this evening. Well, it depends where you are, doesn't it? If you're on the other side of the world and it is evening here, then it's morning. Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm crapping on. See ya. If you've enjoyed this podcast, Clarkie's Closet, and you'd like to hear more of my stuff, read some of my stuff, it's all on markclark.com.au and I hope you'll join us again next week for Once Upon a Space Time. Goodbye.